Alrighty guys, we are on to our next reaction, which is our combustion reaction. These are the ones that you guys are most familiar with. Um, combustion reactions are always straightforward. We've actually already seen this one with our gummy bear lab. Um, when you saw that big giant explosion, that was our decomposition reaction, but we also saw combustion to prove that there was oxygen there. Um, remember, combustion always has the same formula. So when we write our formula for combustion, it's always some form of fuel. That's what this stands for, our fuel, plus oxygen. So we've got to put air in, and it yields carbon dioxide gas plus water plus heat. So we'll see heat and energy. Usually give it off in light and heat. It feels warm. Um, sometimes it's given off in sound, like if you've heard a crackling fire. So this is our formula for combustion. Today what we're going to focus on with this reaction, like when I show you this video, is a couple things. One, I want to show you how oxygen is added when we use our Bunsen burners. And number two, I want to show you the proof that water is being formed in our reaction. So really what we're going to do is just look at a Bunsen burner. Um, you guys know that the Bunsen burner looks like this. So this is what our Bunsen burners look like. We used them before. Um, it's connected to this gas tube. So the gas that we're using here is our fuel. That's that CXHY. So fuel is getting pumped through. Um, when we have, what we have down here is a little nozzle you can see that has gaps in it. This is what lets different amounts of air into the chamber where the reaction is happening. So this changes how much of a combustion reaction we're getting. So we can add different amounts of fuel. The more air, the hotter, the higher the energy. So we actually get a double blue column when we have more. Um, you can kind of see it in the video. Let's see. You can kind of see that double blue column. Whereas when I go over here, it just completely fades away to a full blue column. So we're not getting as tight of a flame because there's less air involved. So more oxygen means more energy. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to show you that water forms. You guys know from working at our lab stations that if you have sweaty hands, they leave prints on the table because they are wet. What we're going to do is take this Bunsen burner and I'm actually going to put it directly on the table. Let's get it at an angle you can see it. We're going to put it on the table and what you're going to see is that the tables actually become dark. And if you were here, you'd be able to feel it. And it's actually forming water. So we're proving that water is formed by fire. See how it's causing the table to get dark? That's not it burning the table. It's evaporating almost instantly. This is literally water coming off of the Bunsen burner because water is formed in a combustion reaction. So we can prove that there was water present. The gas that's coming off is CO2. And then the energy is the flame itself coming off of here. So pretty cool. We can see that water is formed from combustion. Hold tight for the next video.